everyone, my name is Holly, and in today's video, I am going to be doing my February book haul. So this book haul is going to be a little bit more specific because I am going to be showing you some of my really good recent book bargains. I like to consider myself a very good book bargain finder because I do not buy books full price ever, and I literally find my books for like $5 or less. It is a pretty awesome. Honestly, I really need to make a video on how I find my books for a really good price. No, it's not a superpower, even though it should be considered a superpower. It's actually pretty easy to do. And yes, I do have a visitor today. Um, my dog right here decided to jump up on my bed and take a nice little nap. She is pretty much out. This is Cheyenne, by the way. I'm gonna move it for you. There. Oh yeah. Hi. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hi, Popo. Oh. Oh yes, yes. Give me all the kisses. Give me all the kisses. Okay, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh, you're angry now. Just go back to sleep. So the first book I have to show you is A Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marshall. So the reason why this book catches my eye so, so much is because of this freaking gnarly cover and also because it's about necromancers. Like, how cool is that? And maybe because of the LGBTQ elements. That might have just pushed me over the edge. And also, I found this book for... Let me check Amazon. $6.67. Hardcover, like new bargain seriously so this book follows a girl named odessa and she is a necromancer in a kingdom where the nobles and ruling class are dead even the king is dead and every few years this girl has to kill the king before he becomes a shade now that is a pretty serious job she then goes to the deadlands to find the king's spirit and then brings him back through the gateway and back into his body and the only problem about raising the dead this way and it's a huge problem is that they can easily become shades if any part of their body is exposed and man that totally just sounds like zombies to me and if this book has anything to do with that I am all for it the walking dead starts on Sunday I mean like how perfect is this this book sounds so brutal and plus the LGBTQ element refers to our main character here which sounds like it's going to be a ton of fun. So the next book I have here is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. So this book I technically didn't buy with my own money. My amazing, gorgeous friend Margot gave me a $25 gift card for my birthday, which thank you so much Margot, you are amazing. And because of that, I want to like buy the best of the best things with that gift card and Margot loved this book so much so I thought well you know what I'm interested in it so I decided to buy it and guys I bought this book for come on Amazon load a little quicker six dollars and fifty three cents like new hardcover I basically stole this so when this book came in the mail I was shocked because of how thick it is I expected this to be like really small kind of like a normal historical fiction like how they normally are but man this book is a big one so this book is a mixture of fantasy and history and comedy comedy being like the main focal point of the story so this book actually follows three characters Edward Tudor Jane Grey and Gifford Dudley and I think most of us know about the very unfortunate events that center around Lady Jane Grey in real life. She ruled England for exactly nine days and then succeeded Edward VI, but then she was thrown in jail and executed for treason. So these three authors take that very short time period and rewrite it and add their own spin to it into a very light-hearted story. I'm very excited to go into this, but I do have very low expectations for it. I think most people do and then I end up loving it. So I really hope that is the case for me. So this next book I have, I actually wasn't too sure if I wanted to show it on booktube because there is a ton of very bad controversy that surrounds this book and I got it for really cheap and I'm gonna show it because why not? I might like the book. Um, I'm going into it very wary by the way. 
But that is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. Yes, I decided to pick this one up. Again, I only got this book for $6.75, so I did not buy it full price just in case it's just over the top when it comes to the discussion of this about skin color and whatnot. But this is the same author who wrote the Divergent series, which I actually haven't read. I own the whole box set of it, but I just haven't picked it up. I don't know. I haven't really felt the interest into reading Dystopian. This is a science fiction book that is set in an alternate solar system where each planet has very distinct features and occupied by different people which kind of gives me Mass Effect vibes because when you travel to different planets they're always so different. There's always like the desert one, the winter one, the swamp one, and then like the forest one like every video game. <laughs> and to be honest Mass Effect is kind of like that where the planets are occupied by different kinds of people. So I'm very curious to see how this goes. So the final book is actually not a physical copy, but it was on sale, I believe, unless that's... Wow, you just sighed very, very loudly. Thank you for interrupting me. I don't know if this book was on sale or not, or if this is just the set price, but I bought on my Amazon Kindle app. Um, Air Awakens, which is the first book in the Air Awakens series. I recently got sent a tablet to review on my art channel, and I will link that down below for you just in case you guys are interested in watching it because it's a tablet that I absolutely love, and I have been reading ebooks on it instead of drawing on it. Go figure. And I have been so interested in this series for so long. I have a fluff around my nose, and it keeps. Ugh. It was 99 cents on Amazon. Like, you just can't beat that. I can basically find that money in my couch. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this series, and I've heard that it's kind of a mix of the Grisha trilogy meets Avatar The Last Airbender, which sounds so freaking cool. So in this story, we follow a girl named Vala, and she is a library apprentice who later on discovers that she has a secret hidden power. There's that special snowflake. So she is then given a choice to either accept accept her power and to train it or to eradicate her power altogether. And she also ends up meeting a dark prince and the story involves elemental magic. Just all of these things sound so cool and I cannot wait to go into it and I'm so happy I found it for 99 cents. They don't call me Holly Jolly for no reason. Oh my god, please don't, please don't call me that ever. Just don't. So those are all the books that I acquired in February. Now it is time for the February out crates. I don't know if it's just me, but this box looks way bigger than usual and oh my gosh, it is so heavy. So let's just open it up. Okay, so we have the card and this is what I'm seeing so far. And the theme for this was Hidden Worlds. So this is the first thing that I'm seeing. It's just a little out crate pouch. Why did my voice get so low? I don't know why. We open it. Oh, ooh. Uh, Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my god, this is like so evil and dark. I love it. So this is inspired by Coraline. And it's just like a little button key. So here is what it looks like up close. It looks exactly the same on the other side. I love this. It kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. And I'm so into that. Oh, this is so pretty. You can't see it with my black shirt, but... It's gorgeous. So up next we have this candle that says books on candles. I'm guessing that's the shop. And it says through the wardrobe, which is totally Narnia. I don't even need to look at the spoiler card for that. Ooh, that kind of smells like toothpaste. It smells good though. It's like not a bad toothpaste smell. It's very, very minty though. Smells nice. Up next we have these. It looks like a like pencil pouch. Ooh. <sighs> Smells like leather. Okay, so it says, we dream together of the world remade. Is this like Yoshi or something? Come on. There is a Yoshi egg on this freaking thing. Do you see it? Yoshi egg. I can't be the only one seeing this. Oh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I've read that series. Um, I think this is super pretty. Who is this from, though? This is from Risa Ro Rodell. Risa Rodell? Ooh, that is fancy. Up next, what is this? What is this? 
Oh my gosh, it's so big. This is, this is, this is it. This is a thing. How am I going to show you this? How can I, how can I show you? Okay, so it's huge. Um, it's a wall tapestry, by the way. So it says, books fall open. <laughs> you fall in. And it has a person right there. And, and then <laughs> we have a book. It's huge. To be honest, this is almost unusable to me because I literally have no room to put this. Can it be like a shower curtain? Is that a thing? <laughs> it's super pretty. It's by Evie Bookish. And I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like, it's so big. So up next, I have a sticker that is Alice in Wonderland and it's adorable. There's what that looks like. And then we have the book, which is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Whoops. So here is the exclusive Owl Crates cover, which is totally different. The original cover is black with the golden filigree design, and this is green. It kind of reminds me of like a leprechaun. Are there leprechauns in this story? There better be because of this cover. Ooh, look at the end papers. Super fancy. And then here is the naked hardback. There's a little weird looking design down here. It be signed by yo girl. This also came with stickers and a letter from the author. <laughs> Excuse me. We have the pen. Oh my gosh, my eyes are all watery now. It's a little pen of an owl. And then the Owl Crate booklet. Here is what the original cover looks like. And here's the Owl Crate exclusive. Very, very different. And then we have the March theme, which is Across the Galaxy. And a sneak peek, which is going to be a candle from Wiccan Fable. So that's cool. Um, not my favorite candle company. I've had um, a problem with them in the past. But yeah, if you would like to get your own owl crates, I'm not repping for them or anything, but I will leave my referral link down below. If you are a subscriber to owl crates, everyone gets a referral link and I am one person away from getting my next box free, which is just, mm, I just please someone, someone get an owl crate subscription through my referral link and I will love you. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big up for me and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'm at Holly Hearts Books and also on Twitter I'm at Holly Niece and until we meet again happy reading